I had been a fan of American Vandal, which was a show on Netflix that was co-created by Dan Peralt. Um, I had a general meeting with him and just told him how much I loved the show. And at the end of it, I asked kind of my go-to question sometimes as a industrious producer, which is, what's your magic wand idea? Like if you had a magic wand and any crazy wild idea of yours could exist as a movie, what would it be? And he said an R-rated talking dog movie. And I remember I was like, okay, okay. So a little bit like sort of a Ted kind of thing or a sausage party. And he said, no, I have a whole story. And I said, what's the story? And he said, a lovable mutt who's abandoned by a jerk of an owner who teams up with three other dogs to track him down and bite his dick off. And I laughed. And my assistant, who was standing nearby, who heard the conversation, she started laughing. I'm like, all right, OK, we're down for that. Let's do that. And so we commissioned the script from Dan as an original story and then uh, developed it with him. The thing that we wanted to avoid ever, ever uh, was spoof. Uh, so spoof, parody, that was something that this movie was never going to be. We never wanted to be thought of as the movie that was making fun of talking dog movies, period. Um, yes, we are an R-rated talking dog movie, so of course we do have that subversion or reinvention of the genre, but we didn't want that to be our reason for existence. Yes, it's a subversion or reinvention of a beloved genre, which is you know dogs doing cute things and dogs being on a mission to try to accomplish something but it is so much more than just an R-rated take on that.